Georgia teacher is busted for allowing his students to have sex in his classroom, the storage closet in the classroom. Now this teacher's 25 years old and these are middle school students, like 11 to 14, okay? And what happened was the mother of the male student saw some text messages that looked really suspicious between he and the teacher. She said, quote, and this is what she alleges, he told my son you can have it from 7.30 to like 8.30. Did you tell the girl what's going to happen that she cannot tell anybody? Basically don't tell anyone I'm allowing you to use my room. That was the text message. So this teacher was like, and supposedly, according to her, providing condoms, use this for, you know, you have an hour, do your thing, just make sure that nobody says anything. Crazy thoughts, five words or less. Teachers creepers. This kid's ready for Pooniversity. <laughs> You're not teaching sex ed. Okay, bro, like enough. This is disgusting. I can't imagine yeah. a teacher saying, yo, use my closet, yeah. here's some condoms. These are like 11, 12, 13 year olds. Yeah. If Middle I was a parent, school. I would be, I don't know what I would do. I'd be fuming. Ugh. But really quickly, the mom actually had been suspicious of this teacher before. She said because he had asked to come over to her house and take photos of them going to their like little like junior high prom. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, no, you're not coming here to take photos of the students getting so ready creepy. for junior high prom. So she already had some suspicions. Where is the vetting process nowadays mm -hmm. with, I feel like with teachers, because we're hearing more and more of these stories where these cool teachers are coming into play and then you look at their history and they have some history there. I'm sure that there's background checks, but then again, like maybe this is the first time this person being around, they've always known they want to be around kids and then they get around kids yeah. and then they get aroused around kids and that's bad. So do you think that he wanted them to have sex in his room because he was trying to be cool or because he, it turned him on? I don't know. I don't know from those texts. Those texts, I mean, there was times when I was like, can I use a room? And the, te and the teacher was like, yes. I don't know if any teacher I had was like, you can't tell anybody about it. But like, maybe it was like, come into the room. Hey, is that a camera in the ceiling? No, go back to sleep. I don't know. But like, if you're, if, if you're allowing your kids, your middle school kids or any students that you have, to have sex in your storage closet, like there's something wrong. How does that conversation even start I with know. his student that like, they started a dialogue where- I know. Yeah, they're like, I wanna have sex in this class teacher. That's can a you, teacher can... with really loose boundaries yes. and that's not and okay. That's, yeah, I don't know what's going on, why there are all these loose boundaries nowadays. It, I think a lot of it, I, I, I think that there is a, a, a lack with the vetting process. I also think that there's, um, with social media nowadays, because you do see a lot of these teachers right. communicating not, not only through like Twitter and Instagram. You're gonna find your students but, on there and like you have like an additional means of communicating. Like back then, like when we went to school, it was you see them at school and that's it. Now it's like you can talk, you can find other ways to communicate with your teachers. Or we're just finding out about it more now because yeah. of social media right. and because I mean, of these stories. I mean, schools I went to, teachers were boffing their kids. I, I had a, yeah, somebody but in I, my me school too. that That's was That's crazy. Tough. I feel everyone you ask, there's at least one instance. Yeah, yeah that right. happens. That happens more than than we. I mean, when I was in high school, and but that, when yeah, I was that, in junior that's high. The other thing, we were in high school when that happened. This I is know. like a middle school I situation. Our junior high, there were some really creepy ash things going on yeah. with one teacher in particular that seemed like the really cool teacher. That's what it is, and that's what's scary. You're not supposed to be the cool teacher. I mean, these are authoritative <laughs> figures. These are pa pa us. I'm not a parent, but I can imagine as a parent, I'll, I'm entrusting this school, this teacher, to protect my child to instill, and of course it's the parents' you know, job to instill values, but you also would expect that from the teachers too. And then you find out that this happens, I mean, this would be enough to make me lose my mind. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know what I would do. These people, the, the teacher who, if, if this was allowed by the teacher, you gotta go to jail. Nope, nope, stop talking, go to jail. Well, he's arrested. So that's why, and I know that you're, you're trying to not be speculative and give him the benefit of the doubt, but I would hope that they had additional evidence in order right. to arrest him. Yeah. He has not so, been charged, it yeah. is alleged, uh, but he was this arrested. Is a, but yeah, we all know that this is a real, this kind of thing happens. Right. And there should be a very yeah. zero tolerance policy toward any of this, just because of, you know, there's things that happened to me when I was in middle school that we're not nearly on this scale that still define who I am today. You know, like stupid crap, as, like those little things that, that had nothing to do with sex or anything yeah. that I think back of as a formative experience. Imagine if that formative experience for me was something like a teacher letting me do this mm. kind of stuff. It affects we look you. Up, we, we can't help because right. we start school at such a young age that like, teacher as authority figure who knows things and is telling us facts yeah. all day, 
about what is right you think it's and okay. how to be. You just assume that. Right. And then, you know, when I'm this age and I look at some teachers, some of them are amazing. Yeah. But others just should never be around children. Yeah, not to generalize all teachers. My mom's a fourth grade teacher, an amazing teacher. There's so many fantastic teachers out there, but there are some bad apples that are spoiling the barrel. Let's weed them out. Okay, so you guys, please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's give our executive producer, Amir, a big old round of applause. So good. You nailed it. Yeah, you're Thanks. good, Amir. Yeah. Perhaps you're the missing link, you know, <laughs> wearing multiple hats, panelist, as well as executive producer. All right, we'll see you guys all next time on Pop Trigger.